So can you talk me through this book? Well, I read a couple of questions on what I pretty much had to do. Yeah? Hang on. Why are we, here we are. Sorry. Keep going. Which was how to do the difference and then I answered the questions and pretty much wrote what I had to do to incorporate the difference. Okay. There. So if we read through this, what's the difference was the first question you felt you had to ask yourself. Yeah. How do I incorporate that difference into the problem is the second thought, okay? And the difference between, differences too between the 15 and the 17. So if we're talking about the, whoa, wrong button, 15 and 17. So you're talking about 15 here and the 17 here, yeah? Okay. Incorporate the difference with taking away two from 43 and end up with 41 because 17 is already the bigger number. Why didn't you talk about this one? So you had to take the two away from here because 17 is bigger than 15. Yeah. Why? You're dead right. I'm you're dead right. But why? Because it just looked bigger. Um, okay. Why is your pedestal not up here? I don't know. I guess someone might take it away. All right. So what I might do is build your answer there. Okay, and I might actually also put a chest down with that book in it because I'd like to share that one with the class next week because that's an interesting way to go through it. Okay, so or would, maybe I might grab. Uh, do you think they'd listen now? All right, we'll give it a try. Okay, guys, sorry, sorry. Can I get your hands off looking at me for a second? Shannon just shared something with me. I'd like to talk with you guys about. So can we just take all hands off computer and have a look at what's up on the board, Tar? So I just got Shannon to explain it to me and I'd like to talk to you guys about the process she went through. So Kelvin, I would like your hands off the computer. Paul, hands off the computer facing me, Tar. All right. So Shannon wrote it all down in a book. Okay. So her question was 43 plus 15 equals something plus 17. Okay. Her first thought was, I need to work out what the difference is. Okay? Her second thought was, how do I get that difference into the problem? Okay? How do I work that out into the problem? So she's looked at the difference between the 15 and the 17 and said that it's 2. Okay? She's then said, to incorporate that, I need to take away 2 from 43 to get 41. And here's the cracker. Okay? Here's the really important bit. Because 17 is already bigger. Okay, so the answer is 41. This one's already too bigger than this one, so this one must be too smaller than this one. That's a different way of thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah, all right. So I'll go over that again. So pay attention one more time. All right, it's 30 more seconds, Kelvin. Zach, 30 more seconds. Okay, her thinking... And I'll get out of the book so you can see what's down here. This is where we're looking for our connection. Okay? We're looking for the difference between this number and this number. And that's these two blocks. Okay? Zach, just focus. Okay? These two blocks here are the difference. All right? Now, to get that into the problem, we need to say, well, 17 is bigger than 15. So, therefore, this number needs to be too smaller because 2 was our difference, than this number. So to work out the answer, for those of you who were doing it before and going, well, this plus this is this, and then take away this, that plus that is that, take away that. Three steps. Okay? For this, difference is 2. Anyone can tell you the difference between 15 and 12, even though this is 17 and 15. Okay? <laughs> Anyone can tell you the difference between 17 and 15. It's easy. It's 2. So it's not really a calculation at all. Okay? And then you go, well, this needs to be too smaller than this. Anyone can take away 2 from 43 to get 41. So it's not about being smart and being able to use a calculator or being, knowing how to do maths. It's just about thinking the right way. Okay? So that's another way we can think about it. And that might be something worth thinking about when we get onto the subtraction one.